In League of Legends, many champions have abilities that grant movement speed after casting them. On today's episode of All Math, we'll be taking a look at a few movement speed boosting abilities that force a champion to stop moving to be activated, and seeing when it is worth it to use rather than just moving at a normal rate. To keep things simple, we'll assume each champion has no items or other movement speed bonuses. Let's start looking at the abilities now. Keep in mind we are not taking server latency or human reaction time into account. It will take Cassiopeia 0.27 seconds to cast Noxious Blast and another 0.6 seconds for the ability to hit an enemy. In this time, she could have moved 291.45 units. If an enemy is hit, the boost will become cost effective in 0.76 seconds. If we assume Cassiopeia is moving during the 0.6 second cast delay, the boost will become cost effective in 0.23 seconds. The amount of time it will take for cost effectiveness will decrease as the ability's level increases. If Fiora has her base attack speed of 0.672 and uses Burst of Speed, it will take her 0.93 seconds seconds to auto attack an enemy champion. In this time, she could have moved 325.52 units. After an enemy is hit, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.87 seconds. The amount of time it will take for cost effectiveness will decrease slightly as the abilities level in Fiora's attack speed increases. It will take Galio 0.3 seconds to cast Righteous Gust. In this time, he could have moved 100.5 units. After the cast time, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.25 seconds. The amount of time it will take for cost effectiveness will decrease as the abilities level increases. It will take Gangplank 0.27 seconds to cast Raise Morale. In this time, he could have moved 95.94 units. Units. After the cast time, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.26 seconds. The amount of time it will take for cost effectiveness will decrease as the abilities level increases. It will take Malphite 0.27 seconds to cast Seismic Shard and about 0.2 seconds for the enemy to be damaged. In this time, he could have moved 157.45 units. If the unit damage had between 325 and 355 movement speed, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.42 seconds. If we assume Malphite is moving during the 0.2 second damage delay, the boost will become cost effective in 0.24 seconds. The amount of time it will take for cost effectiveness will decrease as the abilities level increases. It will take Nami 0.27 seconds to cast Aqua Prison and 0.7 seconds for it to travel to an allied champion. In this time, she could have moved 329.8 units. After an ally is hit, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.89 seconds. If we assume Nami is moving during the 0.7 second travel time, the boost will become cost effective in 0.25 seconds. It will take Nocturne 0.27 seconds to cast Duskbringer. In this time, he could have moved 93.15 units. After the cast time, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.23 seconds. The amount of time it will take for cost effectiveness will decrease as the abilities level increases. If Sivir has her base attack speed of 0.658, it will take her 1.52 seconds to auto attack an enemy champion. In this time, she could move 509.12 units. After an enemy is hit, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 1.32 seconds. It will take Xerath 0.77 seconds to cast Locus of Power and 0.5 seconds to cast it a second time. In this time, he could have moved 431.8 units. After the second cast, the movement speed boost will become cost effective in 0.96 seconds. Overall, one should keep in mind how long it takes for a champion's movement speed boost to become cost effective before casting it. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Lol Math episode. You can also like Lol Math on Facebook at facebook.com slash trampolinetales, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of Lol Math.